welcome back to the channel in Thailand with Toon and Lee and today is catfish day. Uh, I'm going to try and get some unique footage for you. To all you fans of our uh, walking catfish who uh, think they're more scary than piranhas and uh, I'm likely to agree with you. Uh, I'm going to try and get something a little bit different on uh, film for you. So they haven't been fed this morning. It is going to be quite dangerous. Toon's uh, got to take her mum into town. And uh, so I'm going to be doing this unassisted. And if I disappear by the time Toon gets back, they'll probably fish my skeleton out the catfish pond. And hopefully they'll discover the video camera, which is obviously uh, waterproof. Uh, and then, then, then they'll be able to um, work out what, what happened to me. So, right, I just need a rice bag. Now, I did this a couple of days ago, and I was like, oh my God, I've got to get that on film. Uh, but we had friends coming over yesterday, so I thought, oh, I'll wait till they get here, and um, I'll, I'll show him and his missus. And, um, but we left it a little bit too late, and once the, the sun gets up high, and it gets to sort of like afternoon. The catfish are a, a little bit more, a little bit more shy. But in the morning, I know it's nearly about half eight. I think we're still in with a shout. Oh, bloody cormorant! <coughs> bloody shit bag. I know they only take small fish, but so they didn't go in this pond. That's good. It's on a coconut tree now over the. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it. Uh, there, that's his lookout post. Hang on, the bloody dog's barking now. Hang on a minute. This is the only thing when you're running the farm on your Todd. Spoon's barking out the front. Clops on the chain because he keeps on disappearing into the village. The bloke that um, normally comes and looks after our, our farm for us if we have to nip out together for a few hours. Uh, they've become best buddies, him and Klopp, and uh, Klopp decided to follow him into the village. Keep getting phone calls from them, come and get your bloody dog, he's trying to get in the house. So uh, I went and picked him up, it's like a dog taxi service, I went and got him on Ben-Hur, our chariot, yesterday. That's the second time so far. That's it. They keep on feeding him, so you can't, they can't moan too much, but, the, but they do. Anyway, let's get back on it, Lee. So, walking catfish. They're over a year old now, and we've got two in here, and size-wise, I can only really, but I can best describe it as, they're about the size of sea otters. They're humongous. They're nothing like the ones that you see in the market. Now, let's get down there, and hopefully, we can get them to come up for the pellet. But I'm not just going to throw them on the top. Uh, if I just throw a few in here, they'll come up. Oh, they're spooked. Need to bend down a bit, I think. The water's lovely and clear. It's normally clearer than this even. But uh, they've been scratching around on the sides of the pond and I'll uh, I'll show you, I'll try and demonstrate that to you in a minute. Oh, I haven't seen the two big ones yet. Any of you guys that are into your fishing, you know when you actually see a big fish come through a shoal of other fish because you sort of like draw breath and go <gasps> and in the, in your head you're just saying, no that is proper big. They're uh, they are huge. Right, let's try. Now they've started to come up a bit. They're still a bit spooky, but I think this will work. Let's get them down the side here. And what will happen, they'll start climbing out. Right, I'm going to dump the old lot in and then try and hide down here. Get your rice bag out. The 
things I do for you guys. Ran out of bloody pellet, didn't I? Unfortunately, I didn't see either of the two big ones come up, and unfortunately, the, the pellets ran out a little bit too early. So I might go and get a few more. I might throw them in the same place and then go and record it from the other side. But it's quite difficult. As soon as you sort of like hang over the side and shove the camera in the face, they become a little bit shy. That, that's nothing compared to what they have been doing. So uh, I'll go and get some more. Second cup of pellets. And uh, we'll see if we can get a bit more action from the side, side shot of them. We very, very rarely feed these catfish now. The only time we're really throwing food in is if there's a guy in uh, the village who's got a little market stall that sells veggies and uh, we get his offcuts and leftovers and they eat them. So do the tilapia. Other than that, the only things that we throw in are um, sort of like when we, when we have a duck or a chicken for dinner and uh, not the leftovers but it's the uh, the innards and all that sort of thing that we that, that we haven't cooked up um, other than that it's just the bug light at nights so I wouldn't say our fish are skinny I would say they're more lean and mean and when you taste the meat they're more like a wild fish than what you'd normally get in the markets the ones in the markets are as they're as fat as pigs but um, the meat is quite soft Right then, where can we do this? Try and get... Ah, this looks good. We've got a little bit of a plateau here. So I'm just going to go and get me... my rice bag. Otherwise I'll do my usual trick and sit in a red ant's nest or something. And then I'm just thinking I'm just going to dump the whole lot in one small area and see if they'll, they'll go for it. Right then, oh my bloody knees. Right, the only thing is, laying down on a rice bag that leads into the pond is quite slippy. So, this could be the last you see of me. Oh. No. I think I've thrown it a bit too far out, you Rodney. Come in. And that's it, all gone. Now if you just imagine you're a little frog, come down your local pond for a few pints of pond water with your mates after work, and you got a little bit too close to the edge of the water, even if you didn't have your feet wet, they can come out and get you. Oh, well, that one's only got one eye.
I tell you what, if one of the big ones comes, I'm so close to the water, I'd shit myself and fall in. And that'd be it. So these catfish haven't got teeth. There's very, very few catfish in the world that have. I mean, there are a few, um, but they've got like a Brillo pad. Now, I wouldn't say they bite, but I'd say they, they clamp onto their food. So um, sometimes when you get one that's quite deeply hooked, uh, if you don't use a disgorger or forceps and you put your finger in there, uh, when they chomp down on you, you can feel the power uh, when they clamp down on on your digit. So um, that's the way they normally catch their fish. They don't sort of like sever them or anything. They, they clamp it, turn it round and swallow it head first. But the two that are really big in here, I've got a feeling they're the two that we put in from our village house. So they were a little bit bigger to start with. And uh, I think they've been eating the other ones. It's just a shame it's muddied up a little bit now. Because if it was as clear as yesterday, um, I'd be tempted to suspend this under a float and put the video in there. But uh, I might leave it a day, let it clear up again, and then have a go at that once it's crystal clear. And that should be pretty, pretty amazing footage. Right, that's it. I'm going to try and ease myself back without sliding in. Cheated death once again for you guys. We'll do another another video in a few days or two. Just gonna have a sit down and it's a bit it's a bit hot. Look, I'll just show you. Hardly a cloud in the sky. Good for the solar, not good for your Swede. My head's leaking. Beautiful. The only thing is, I don't know whether you can hear it. I don't know whether the microphone's picking it up or not. There's a in the background. Uh, that's, that's just someone uh, spraying weed killer. And uh, it's, well, there's hardly any wind today, but I can smell it from here. And he's about 300 meters away. So lovely fresh air in, in the middle of uh, rural Thailand. They're all still having a look over there, see if they've missed any bits, but they, uh, they're so efficient at finding food, it never ever lasts very long. What I would like to do is the next time we have um, a bit of meat that goes over or a quail that passes or something like that, I wouldn't mind sort of like dangling them at the edge and trying to get them to come out and hold, hold the, the poultry by hand and see if we could actually get uh, some airborne action. Catfish airborne action, that'd be quite good. Look at that, it's a joke. If you're enjoying our videos, and uh, we would like to, to continue doing them, and I, I'd love to be able to do them more frequently. But we are very, very busy. If, if you'd like to, to help out and join our patron team, uh, we'd really love to have you on board. Um, if that's not an option for you, no worries. Um, but you could still help us without it costing you any money. If there's an ad that rolls, uh, at the end of the video, if you could just let it run for 30 seconds before you skip it, if you haven't already got ad block on, uh, then every little bit helps and we continue uh, doing these videos for you. Thanks for watching as always guys and uh, don't ever fall in our catfish pond when you come to visit and have a few beers, it won't end well. you can see this but oh, it's just gone behind the eucalyptus the blokes about 80 90 meters away there's a light breeze coming straight to you here and uh, I don't know what a poultry are like but I've got a bloody headache straight away God knows what what these guys are spraying but I'm lost for words so there's a bloke next door spraying his cassava and right behind him we've got a bloke spraying his rice everything coming over here Give me strength. I've just come inside and an, a third machine's just started up. So there's three guys, no more than 200 meters from, from our farm, spraying with the wind coming straight to us. 
fantastic so that's it it's a hot day but I'm coming inside and uh, I'm gonna shut the doors and windows and uh, start editing the video so not so happy days in happy Thailand <laughs>